hello guys welcome and in this video i will be showing you how to create an android application using cordova so in this video i'll be covering three things and first of all we are going to be seeing how to create an android application like creating it on your computer and then to see how you can be able to design it and all that then we are going to be seeing how to add android platform to be able to build the application for android and then later on we shall see how to build it such that it it can be able to open up and function on a device you can either build an apk version or a bundle version without further ado let's get started so in this case i'll be assuming you already have installed cordova on your device on your machine if you haven't i have a link the video for installing cordova on your machine in the description of this video so we are going to start by creating a new cordova application on our desktop so i'll start by running the command cordova create so after writing create i'll have to give it the folder name i'm going to create a new folder called test app then package id follows so it will be it can be any package id it will be com dot test app dot app then the name of the application the name of the application which how it will be viewed on the device i'll just say my app run the command so here we have the new folder with some of the files and folders for cordova then we are going to open up that that folder so we are inside the folder and then from there let me just open up visual studio so here let me open up that folder our new app the folder so here we have right here on the left we have some of the files and a folder ww so inside ww that's where the application files will be the files you have written for your application then in config.xml that's where the we shall be having the settings the settings for the application how you want your app to open how you want some of the plugins we shall be installing in into the app so we, we will be mainly focusing on the config file and the files inside this ww folder so we have js for javascript then index this is the main file for your application then some images if you have images you want to add in your application and some css for styling your application uh let's just look at a brief of the things inside this config file um we just try to make it easy for viewing so we have our package id here the one we just added when we are creating so if you have made a mistake you can edit it right here then version this is used to track the changes of your like in case you make an update you will increment this this number for example one version 1.0 next time i can make it 1.1 so this will be for tracking changes then the name inside these uh, tags for name this is the name of your application the one you'll be using on your device description then email and then author so these are not so much important so we shall right now without anything any anything let's add the platforms for 
android such that we can be able to build this application for an android device so let's run the command cordova platform add android so you can just run this but in my case uh, i prefer using the latest cordova install which is cordova 11 so i'll add at 11.0.0 .0 .0. So it will start generating the platform files for Android and installing them in the in our folder. So you see now we have a new folder called platforms and node modules. So these ones contain Android files which will be enabling us to build. So we have finished adding the platform, Android platform files. So you can see that we are we are compiling the compiler SDK is 32 that will be dependent on the the SDK you have installed on your machine. So to build an APK, what we are going to do so I'll have my I have my Android emulator here running. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to build this file just to save it on the on my machine without running it on a device so, so let me run code over build android build android and then we run so it should start generating the app so let me first minimize this and we check so they are saying it is the build is successful and we have our debug apk in this in this folder here so let's first open that up so it is inside uh, platforms android app build outputs apk debug so here we have that that the, the apk which has been built so it's still in debug you can you can use it on the device just for testing but you can't release it on the play store we shall have a video explaining how to sign an apk or a bundle application for release on the play store but for now we are not going to be signing any of the applications so the next thing we are going to see we are going to see how to build uh, the android app to run directly on our device so if you don't have a device connected already on your machine and you have a, an android emulator you can just follow along but if you also want to just run the app on your on your android device you can connect it on your machine and then you will be able to also follow along so in my case to just run this application directly onto this emulator i'll run the command code over run so it should be able to run so here we are so it has just opened it has finished running the command and then opened up onto the emulator it will be the same case if you are having your actual device co directly connected with usb on your machine so just to change a little bit for example here it's reading apache cordova device is ready so we can just alter that a little bit so here we have here this is where we have all that this index.html file under www folder so we can just change this to say code over works and then if we rebuild this code over run then we build it again on to the device it should be here reading code over works so you can 
you just need now to start developing your your html content inside here and then develop like styling creating your own designs then adding some css and all that so whatever you change here whatever you add in it will be directly appearing onto your app when you rebuild it again so that's it guys thank you for watching see you in the next one